Hello friends, welcome to Learn with Lakshman. If you have not subscribed for this channel, subscribe now. Today we're going to talk about the questions on the essay on the rule of the road. Okay then, let's get started. Here is question number one. Under which pseudonym A.G. Gardiner has written his essays? The options are A. Shadow of the Mountain B. Bard of Raven C. Alpha of the Plough and D. John Don. I hope you marked your answer and the right answer to this question is option C. Alpha of the Plough. Question number two. What is Petrograd? The options are A. A city in Russia B. A British museum C. A French popular dish and D. A famous person. The right answer to this question is option A. A city in Russia. Question number three. When it was pointed out to the lady walking in the street that pavement was the place for the foot passengers, what did she say? The options are A. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. B. Okay, sir, I'll keep it in my mind. C. Who are you to tell me this? And D. I'm going to walk where I like. We have got the liberty now. The right answer to this question is option D. I'm going to walk where I like. We've got the liberty now. Question number four. What according to A.G. Gardiner would be the result of the liberty mentioned by the lady? The options are A. World War B. Universal Chaos C. Universal Peace and D. Total Extinction The right answer is B. Universal Chaos Question number 5 Which of the following statements is not made by A.G. Gardiner in relation to extreme liberty? Options are A. Everybody would be getting in everybody else's way B. Nobody would be getting anywhere C. Individual liberty would have become social anarchy and D. This would lead to total extinction of humans. The right answer to this question is option D. This would lead to total extinction of humans. What according to author is the policeman who steps up in the road and puts up his hand asking you to stop symbol of the options are a tyranny b liberty c courtesy and d affection the right answer to this question is b liberty question number seven what according to author makes your liberty a reality the options are a social disorder b social order c state of anarchy and d all the above the right answer to this question is option b social order what is liberty according to the author the options are a a personal affair b a social contract c accommodation of interests and d all the above the right answer to this question is option d all the above in which of the following matters we cannot exercise our liberty according to the author the options are a clothing b eating c driving and d religion the right answer to the, this question is c driving question number 10 what according to author our liberty should not do the options are a interfere with the liberty of others B. Let people at ease. C. Remind people of their food. And D. All the above. The right answer is option A. Interfer with the liberty of others. What was the co-passenger in the train doing when author was reading a blue book? The options are A. Looking curiously. B. Watching a movie. C talking loudly and d making fun of the author the right answer to this question is option c talking loudly question number 12 
Why didn't the author ask his co-passenger to talk in a low voice? The options are, he was dangerous, B, he was interesting, C, he would have thought author rude, and D, it would prolong the discussion. The right answer is option C, he would have thought author rude. Question number 13. What is a reasonable consideration for the rights or feelings of others according to author? The options are A. Cultural heritage B. Foundation of social conduct C. Base of personal relationship D. Strategy to build nations The right answer is C. Foundation of social conduct Question number 14. With whose rights the rights of small people and quiet people are compared by the author? The options are a. Animals, B. Small nationalities, C. Big people, and D. Children. The right answer to this question is B. Small nationalities. Question number 15. Who said a person must practice trombone in the attic and shut the window? The options are A. William Wordsworth, B. William Hazlitt, C. Charles Dickens, and D. A. G. Gardiner. The right answer to this question is B. William Hazlitt. Which of the following ideological stand A.G. Gardiner takes? The options are We cannot be complete anarchist. B. We cannot be complete socialist. C. We must be a judicious mixture of anarchist and socialist. And D. All the above. The right answer is option D. All the above. Question number 17. What is true about A.G. Gardiner? The options are He is a Marxist. B. He is a Tolstoyan. C. He is a compromise between Marx and Tolstoy. And D. None of the above. The right answer to this question is uh, Option C. He is a compromise between Marx and Tolstoy. Question number 18. What is the meaning of the word banality? The options are A. Original B. Decorative C. Lacking originality and D. Purity The right answer is option C. Lacking originality Question number 19. Which word means the space or a room at the top of a building under the roof often used for storing things? The options are A. Attic B. Blatant C. Anarchy and D. Balcony. The right answer to this question is option A. Attic. Question 20. Treasure Island and Tristram Shandy are dash dash. A. Dramas. B. Poems. C. Essays. And D. Novels. The right answer is option D. Novels. Okay. I hope you've scored good numbers. Thanks for watching this video.